to another video um it's going to be the beginning of a new video however it's not going to essentially start now it's going to start a little bit later because i have to take a coaching class now and uh yeah so because of that i need to be focused chief there's just a whole lot of stuff that is happening in here right now and i don't even know where my pens are hey guys my trick my trick my darling okay so let me focus because i've got about eight minutes until i need to call my client so i need to get my things sorted here i need a pen this is the most amazing thing because i'm sitting at my desk and there's no access to your pen now there is <laughs> and i'll speak to you guys a little bit later okay friends uh, uh, it's, a, it's a it's a new day today it's a holiday okay and yesterday me I went on to I'm driving I'm driving a different car so I might seem a little bit let me just try and lift my chair a little bit so yesterday as you saw in the morning I kind of got my things together and I was like okay no it's fine let me go get these these uh, packages delivered. Well, can no no. It's a whole day today, so I'm taking it that. Uh, ooh, ooh, it's a bit of a shake, sweetie. Uh, it's a holiday today, and the post net that I went to is closed. Um, tomorrow is not a holiday, so they'll be open. So now I'm weighing. I'm weighing the things. Like, do I do? The, the other option was uh, Pip Paxi. So do I do the Pip Paxi ones today? Because I'm pretty sure Pip is open. Um, so I think I am going to do that. But I get from Ginara, Ginara, because um, because I really thought that I would do it today, you know? I hope you guys are doing well. And... Um, I hope you shop man. Hey, nah. I I'm on a hey hey. Look at this guy just standing in the middle of the road. Oh my God, this man! He's just standing in the middle of the road. I I wanna hear. I wanna hear. Um. So the plan today was to get these things delivered and then maybe have uh breakfast somewhere and uh um just just you know because it's 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 i i tweeted yesterday that i feel like i'm in my uh god is showing me his grace 
era you know what i'm saying because it's just been it's it's been it's been hard it's not perfect killer wanna guys when when things are not perfect but you are still appreciating and living in gratitude for um the things that are going well that's pretty much where i am you know uh, my work situation is still not perfect but it's getting better you know um in terms of my day-to-day -day job however it's it's getting there and it's it's slow but it, it'll get there so and i'm in my grateful and basking in gratitude era you know what i'm saying uh there's not there's not you know god is just showing me his grace and i'm grateful for it and that's that's all that there is to that story um i am thinking of also taking my car to the car wash um i'm thinking about a lot of things in my head and 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 i'm not finishing a certain trail of thought um so there's there's just been a lot of things that have been happening that are wonderful some that i i can't really talk about as yet um but some that i can and i've mentioned them to you so i'm i'm just i'm just i'm i'm basking in gratitude right now i'm, I'm just i'm just saying thank you god and uh thank you to everybody who has supported my life coaching business thank you to everybody who supported the workbooks thank you thank you thank you i cannot tell you how humbled and filled with love i am to everybody who's shown this business some love so i really do appreciate it so so much i am now entering into the complex is that post net open yes i know that's right it looks like it's open No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I, I need to talk to the friends. Ah, just this disrespect. Hey, everybody. Hi. Um. <laughs> this was, you know, this 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 weekend I had planned. Today is Monday. Today is May Day. It's the it's 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 Workers Day. I think it's the first of May. It's a holiday, and um. Tomorrow we go back to work. Sharp grand. I was supposed to start recording. I just came out the shower. My hair's a tip. It's it's wet. Anyway, uh, I was I was I was supposed to start recording during the weekend. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to do that. I didn't. Um, because I got sick. Last week on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, we went to. My little sister's uh, Hanya's um, concert, school concert, and it was amazing. It was such a good time. We were singing. Obviously, I couldn't, I couldn't vlog that because there's kids there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I ain't trying to have, uh, but what, Baba, now jump me and put me in a chokehold because I'm recording their children. So I, I, I didn't do that. But um, the following day. I met up with them again, with my family again, after the second day of Hanya's concert. And on that day, Hanya wasn't feeling the best. And I always say, I always say, Ha Hanya Akagula. Should she get sick, I'm going to get sick. 
And I've always said this to my family. I've always said this. It's always happened. It's always turned out that way. If she gets sick, I'm going to get sick. Because if I'm around her, she always wants to be closest to me. Like, she'll lean on me. She'll lie on my lap. She'll do whatever. And uh, that girl is contagious. Okay? When she's sick, she is a walking... Kuri. Yeah. A walking illness. Yeah, yeah, Eva again. So, I, I caught it. And I did everything in my power to try not to catch it. I caught it. And um, now I, I'm here. So over the weekend, uh, I had told myself I'm going to film. I'm going to, you know, it's a long weekend. going to go out, eat out, do all the nice things, whatever. Uh, this is the first weekend in I don't remember how long that I wasn't with Diesel this weekend. And I'm actually glad I wasn't because I'm I'm so sick. He probably would have caught it, even though, nah, nah, nah he probably would have caught it. So, um, so I was literally in bed all weekend. Even today, uh, I'm I'm just gonna do a little bit of planning, some things for tomorrow <clears throat> to get my week started. But I I really am not feeling the best. Hang on, I need to blow my nose. So. As I was saying, I'm not, I really am not feeling the best, but I'm going to try and make the most of today. I don't have a, a plan today. My plan is to sit and rest because if you want to get rid of the flu, that's what you need to do to sit and rest. So I'm having some of that ginger turmeric tea in here. I've had two cups of green tea. I woke up this morning around six. I went to bed around one because I was so blocked. I couldn't, I was just tossing, turning, tossing, turning. But outside of that, I feel great. Um, I, uh, the book that I'm reading is upstairs. I'm currently reading Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. And oh my goodness, it's great. It's hilarious. I'm about 50, 60 pages in and I'm really enjoying that one. Um, and I am also listening to All's Well by Mona Award on Scribd. Uh, I think I've read about 16 books so far this year. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm on a roll. Um, but, but mentally, I just... Mentally, I... I, I, I uh, 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 mentally, I'm about 31% in. This is what I am uh, listening to right now. Um... But mentally, I'm 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 in I'm in the pits a little bit. Uh, I'm just I think I'm in that place where I need to see my therapist again, and that's pretty cool. But there's 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 another thing that I want to introduce you guys to that is even better. It's it's so cool. Um, but I'll talk to you guys about that probably in the next vlog, not this one. Um, yeah. It's really exciting. Can't wait to, to share that with you guys. But for now, do you know when you're sick, you don't even feel like making yourself a really nice breakfast like eggs and avo and this. Um, so I don't even know what I'm going to eat. Do I even want to eat? I don't know. Let me, let me, let me just collect myself, gents, and figure myself out and then I'll, I'll switch it back on when there's a plan because sometimes in life there just isn't a plan and when there isn't a plan what, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do nothing
So we're gonna ignore my messy house. I am. Woo! <coughs> I'm gonna prepare lunch or dinner, whatever. Uh, because I can. So. My mental hasn't really been in the best space. I've been... Yesterday... Yesterday was... My mother's anniversary of her passing. So it was 13 years yesterday. And... Um, my mental from, from, from Saturday, from a day before that, was just in a downward spiral. I wasn't feeling the best. On top of the fact that physically I wasn't feeling well, I think my body is just truly under a lot of strain right now. Like I've been so happy, so busy, going, this, 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 that when I got sick, I realized that it wasn't just sick with the flu. Yo, guys, not get like the guys. But we'll talk about it a little bit later. So I didn't just get sick with the flu, okay? I'm fighting off an infection right now, okay? And then my mama's day came yesterday. I think my body is just in that place where it's just like, okay, we need to slow down. Like, I'm, I'm moving so quickly. Like, I need to do this, I need to do this. I'm, I'm working, you know, taking clients, doing this, doing this, the workbooks, this, this, this. I've just been so inundated with work that... My body's just like chill and it forced me to chill and now I ain't got much of a choice. I gotta chill. You know what I mean? So nice. So I'm gonna do all these veggies because they're pretty much almost uh done. The well if I give it another two days or so, the veggies were just gonna go off. So we need to do it now. We need to switch on the stove. I don't even know what I'm cooking. I'm gonna make a like this and a beef stew, I guess. I don't know. Then we'll pour another cup of coffee and then just chill and chat. Okay. I normally put the same spices into my veggies. Keep it, keep it the same. You know, if I want to. Ooh, I'm out of this is one of my favorite favorite uh, spices I love the spice so much and pretty much out rosemary and olive mm, I love this girly so much but it's okay I need to go to the store anyway tomorrow so it's fine perfect perfect and then we just uh, give it a bit of a stir do you know what I mean a little bit of a, a stir just try to Cooked all of them in the oil so that they don't burn. We've got some onion in here, pumpkin, uh, lots of zucchini, which is great. I love zucchini. It's my, it's my jam. It's my jam. Zucchini, baby marrows. Oh, this is my jam. I think I might have sweet potato. Yes, I do. I'm gonna throw over some sweet potato on there as well. No, let's not waste the veggies. Let's just have a ton of veggies going. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more oil. A little bit more seasoning. Hello. Why is my phone going off? Diesel is on his way back. He's gone to go visit his mother. <laughs> He's gone to go see his, his family for this long weekend because he didn't travel around the Easter period. So... I was just like, bruh, get out of my face. I don't even want to see you no more. I don't even like you. You don't even go here. And he was like, oh, okay. Then I'm going to go. And then, yeah, Kyle, I need to get much. All right, so we've coated that. And then, we just let the veggies roast. They're looking pretty good. This will at least last me three days or so. As long as I've got this, and then it'll be, it'll be in the fridge, and then I can do different types of protein every day. But this, three days, my darling. 
Okay, sweetie, I'm here. Okay. I'm gonna get the pan out and do a bit of a beef stew now, kind of vibe, I don't know. Pull out the beef stew. Of course, always wash your meat, chaps. I will wash it first. Typically, I like to cut it because the pieces are often quite um, big for my tiny little mouth. And two smaller pieces because these big pieces are not for me, honey. I'm, I'm operating on overdrive and my body last week was just like, nah. Last week, Thursday, I was at the doctor's at 6 p.m. <laughs> the doctor's offices were about to close and I was there at 6 p.m. because I was sick and I wasn't feeling well. And I think it's my body's way of just saying that they'll slow down. Like, you're doing well, you're working, uh, you know, I'm excited and all of it. But my body was just like, sis, no. So here we go. Gonna wash this up. Right on. Meat is properly washed. I gotta wash my hands because my hands feel grimy from all this meat. Am I the only one who washes my hands in between handling different types of food items? Like, I, I can't be the only one who washes my hands. In between handling all different types of food items, nah, I can't be the only one. So please guys, ne? listen to your voice sometimes, that inner voice of yours that says, you know what, I need to chill today. You know what I'm saying? I need to chill today, I need to get break because it just, it's so important. Is the stove on? Yes it is. I absolutely love garlic in my meat, especially from stewing it up a little bit. It's my jam, it's my vibes. It'll kind of figure itself out, okay? One of my favorite um, spices again is this one. This is the roast onion soup and gravy powder, which is pretty much finished. Oh my God, oh no, I've got a spare one, yay! So I'll just kind of douse this in, and this, this often has um, salt in it so a lot of the time I try not to add salt in the beginning stages of making my meat because um, a lot of the spices actually do come with salt already so this is my spare one let's see if we can open this without let's do the 11 and 1 spice I haven't used this in in terms of the stew base Thing, you know, I used it when I put meat in the oven the last time. Um, so we're gonna try this. It smells very, very spicy. <laughs> so at this stage, I don't add anything else. I just let it cook. I let it boil, I let it cook, I let it do its thing, simmer down, what, what. And then if I do want to add something at a later stage, then I will. If I don't and I want to have it just like that, then I'll have it just like that. Um, but for now, that's all I do, and you just let the magic happen while you make yourself a coffee and, and chill out and, and wind down and have a conversation with your subscribers. So let me do that. Let me make another cup of coffee. So not good for me right now. And then I can catch you up with what's been going on this week because it's been a tip. It's been Perfect. a tip. Here we are. So, oh. Am I the only one who goes around carrying tissue in my pockets, especially when I'm sick? Oh, I can't be the only one. So anyway, <clears throat> before we get into this little mental health geeky chat, this is the book that I'm currently reading. This is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. It's really, really good. Um, the story opens with this um, apartment being shown by an estate agent uh, called house tricks and so there's people in this apartment and they're checking out the apartment it's lovely sharp grand and then a robber who tried to rob the bank downstairs or something like that uh lands up in this apartment and ends up holding everyone in that apartment hostage 
I think it's about nine hostages. Um, so what we are following is what happens in there and also like two dual time spans where the detective as well is uh, interviewing the people that are that were held hostage so it happens sort of concurrently and i did also last week get some book mail by jonathan ball publishers i got four books one which my mom took <laughs> it's a peter swanson book it's it's one of his latest novels she took it because she's a big uh, crime thriller reader so i gave it to her because i've, just, I've got so many books guys you know and um the other one I gave to a colleague of mine as well. It's it's like a romance novel. I think it's called What What Happens on Vacation by Joe Watson. And so I decided to keep these two. I got four books. So I decided to keep these two. This one is Queen K by Sarah Thomas. Again, another thriller as well. Love the cover. I just don't like that it's glossy. I'm not really a fan of glossy covers. But what I'm most excited about is this one. So the third book in the trilogy of the Black Girls Must Die Exhausted chain of books is out. This is by Jane Allen. I read Black Girls Must Die Exhausted and Black Girls Must... Uh, what's the second one? Die Exhausted. Black Girls Must... I forgot what the second one is called. But then the third one and last one is Black Girls Must Have It All. And I absolutely agree. Look at those covers. Those covers are so nice. There are the other two over there. I was going to show you. Ah, fuck it. Let me show you. Let me show you. All right. So this is the first one. Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. Look at that cover. Stunning. And then the second one is Black Girls Must Be Magic. Look at that cover. Stunning. And then the third one is Black Girls Must Have It All. So excited to have all three. Love it. Can't wait to get into this one and see how the story kind of closes off. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So really, really excited for these. Thank you very much to Jonathan Ball Publishers. They just nurture and feed my love for reading, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, reading is just, um, books are an answered prayer for me. Like I just love books and I love to read and I get more excited about receiving books in the mail or receiving books as a gift more than anything else in the world truthfully to talk to you guys about is just looking after your mental health and i always we always talk about looking at mental health when you're not feeling well or when you're going through something or whatever but it's also really important to look after your mental health even when things are going well like things are not perfect in my life right now far from it but there are so many wonderful exceptional things that are happening right now that they, they're just keeping me so busy. They're keeping me happy, challenged, on my toes. You know, I'm, I'm very ambitious right now, following passions. I'm helping people, you know, with the coaching sessions and all of that and the workbooks. I'm helping people. And for me, I've always said, like, it's it's my purpose in the world to help um, even just one person. And I'm, I, I, I love that. But in that whole time that I was doing all of that, I was neglecting my physical health. Because I was so busy going, 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 you know, attending this and doing that and, and answering this and that, that I just wasn't looking after my, my physical health. And it's, it's very true. I dropped down from having two, three meals a day to having one meal a day because I'm just so busy. I'm busy at work. I come home. I'm busy. I'm coaching. I'm doing this. So my body, I think, got to the point where it was just like, bring up over. Relax yourself. And uh, the reason why I know my body is like, bring up over, relax yourself, is because I got sick and I wasn't taking my vitamins as I normally do. And also another thing that I forgot to take as, as I normally do are my probiotics. And because of that, I was at the doctor's offices last week, Thursday or something at 6 p.m. at night hoping to see a doctor i was literally the last patient of the day because i caught a uti Fine. so i'm back you may notice i'm sweating because i'm burning up i'm sick so either way i went into the doctor's office picked up that i i have a uti 
and um, I, I knew it I could feel it earlier on that morning if you're somebody who regularly gets UTIs you know exactly how to spot them because you get a little bit of an abdominal pain and you get a little bit of a like a hot sensation when you're peeing and all of that and for somebody like me who drinks uh, water all day every day I could pick it up instantly that no something's not right something's not wrong something's not wrong with my pee something's not wrong uh, and then throughout the day, I could feel this abdominal pain, abdominal pain, abdominal pain. And then I was like, you know, you know what? I'm going to go to the doctor. Got to the doctor around 6 p.m. Uh, saw the doctor and had to drive to the hospital because all the pharmacies around me were closed at that time, except the one at the hospital. So I did that. Okay. I did that and then I came home and I rested and I on that day I wasn't feeling as fluish the following day I came down like just came down came down came down that was me and uh, that was right throughout the weekend so I really couldn't do anything even if I wanted to do something even if I out I resigned myself to the fact that, okay, Katleo, you need to rest. You need to relax. Um, and I'm somebody who really struggles with resting. I cannot rest for the life of me. Rest, 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 rest. I kind of have to be forced to rest. And that's what my body was telling me. I really, truly believe that that's what my body was telling me this time around. Like, bruh, stop. It's enough. Rest. So I decided to do that. I decided to pick up a new book and read and I'm listening to the other one on on uh, audio. So as I'm driving around, I'm listening to that. I met up with my family here and there. You might have seen the, um, what do you call them? You might have seen the clips here and there. I really don't know what this vlog is going to be about or what's going to go on in this vlog. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a rather basic one. But this chat is so important because I want you guys to always remember to look after your mental health. Even in the days where you are happy and you feel like everything is going well. And oh my gosh, life couldn't be better right now. For me, life is not better. Life is not great. Um, there are certain things that I'm still worried about. I'm still worried about um my future my financial future it's like those are things that for me sit at the front of my mind financial security is a very big thing for me even when i know that the shop like right now i'm fine you know I'm, I'm i'm managing i'm still managing to put a little bit away here and there and what have you but things still feel tight for me and because of that uh -uh, no, no, don't do that and because of that, I will always overthink my financial freedom and security. Um, so it's, 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 it's scary for me. So one of the other things is that because I do coaching sessions now, and I'm also dealing with uh, other people and their struggles and their transitions that they're going through in their lives, it takes a very huge toll on me because I am an empath. So because of that, I just feel like, oh my God, I want to cry with you. I want to do this. But at the same time, I'm focused, you know, like you're working at this point. Um, these people are paying you for your services. So you need to bring it, you know, it's your job. You need to bring it to the table. Um, that's when I realized the importance of me also being regular with my therapy. And there's something that came along that, you're, that I'm going to talk about fully in my next vlog that came along that is encouraging my therapy. So not only the therapist that I go to once a month or once every two months, but I've got another therapist online now. And it's a, it's a whole nother story, chat. but I'm seeing another therapist online. So I've got access to two therapists, which is so lovely. And, and the second one, it will be explained a lot better later because the sponsored post, my darling, your good sis is getting sponsored posts, uh, sponsored content. So 
I realized then that it's also very important to keep my mind also in a good place, especially when you're dealing with other people's stuff and it's in your mind all day and you're thinking about that and blah, blah, but you still have your own things to deal with. So it's so important. I feel like let's not forget that. Let's not forget to mentally check in on ourselves, even when we feel like things are pretty okay, things are pretty stable. I'm just trying to recover before the week starts off again tomorrow. So just look after yourselves, okay, everybody? Take care of your heart, your mind, everything. Um, it's so, so important. All right, I'm gonna pack these books away and then I'm gonna go park on that couch while I look after my food and make sure my food doesn't burn.